And tonight we want to take time to shine a light on black maternal mortality as black women are three times more likely to die from a pregnancy related cause than white women. And that's why here at Case HB 41, we want to recognize Black Maternal Health Week. You know, this year those stats especially hit home as a beloved Chiefs cheerleader, Crystal Anderson, lost her life last month to sepsis after delivering her stillborn daughter, 40 years old. We will hear from our husband Clayton in just a few minutes. Pregnancy related issues are wide ranging, which can include things like sepsis or even heart disease. I didn't even think that I was having a heart attack, like had no idea. KSHB 41 News reporter Caroline Hogan turning over the mic to a mother who experienced a heart attack and wants others to know those warning signs. As heart disease is the number one killer of new moms. Our father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Mary Whitaker and her family turned to prayer in times of stress. I mean, this church is amazing and the people in it are amazing. It was her safe space when she suffered a heart attack in 2020 after giving birth to her fourth child. I was nauseous, shaky, like almost like if you drink an energy drink or too much coffee on like an empty stomach, you like get kind of jittery. It wasn't the normal symptoms she's always heard about. I wasn't clutching my chest and, you know, having really bad chest pains. Like it almost felt like indigestion or heartburn, you know. The American Heart Association says heart disease is the number one killer of new moms. Mary never thought it'd be her. She never had any issues during her past pregnancies. You know, now is not the time for me to go. Not long after, Mary and her husband found out they were expecting but they received difficult news from doctors that led to a painful choice. The odds of survival for myself or the baby were low and they suggested that we terminate. But Mary's turning that pain into awareness. I want to share my story, you know, in hopes that other women feel like, a, you know, a connection, that they don't feel alone. Bigger than that, Mary's family decided to foster an eight month old boy. I've really turned into the sorrow that I feel for my baby that I never got to meet. And I just pour that extra love that I know that I have into the children that need it. She's at peace, believing everything happens for a reason it leading her to advocacy and a new member of the family. He has good plans. He has good plans for me. That's very fitting. In Warrensburg, Caroline Hogan, KSHB 41 News.